Uh, and I guess while we're at it, I point out like re the reasons why this is a good base for La Lunion. Um, the air defenses don't really cover each other. I think the range is something like this. Uh, you know, uh, they're not. Uh, you know, they don't cover each other at all. So that means that when you have lava hounds on the first air defense, they're not taking fire from the next air defense. Uh, and so, you know, you can get your hounds to rotate around the base, and I can't remember if this is the way that I did it, but uh, you basically, you know, only want the hounds to be tanking, you know, one AD at a time, or two at the most if you're if you're splitting them. Uh, and what that does is, you know, it just maximizes the DPS that your uh, balloons can do, kind of similar to in a golem raid, where the golems are only, you know, you're not going to drop golems on all four sides of the base, you're just going to keep them in one place, and half the base is offline, basically. Their defenses are offline until the golems arrive, uh, and you want the DPS right behind them, obviously. So, a uh, similar concept here. Um, also, you'll notice the expos are on ground, and anytime the expos are on ground, uh, it's wide open uh, for this raid, because um, without the expos, um, the pups will really have a heyday on enemy clan castles and archer queens. Um, I mean, it, even if there's archer towers in the middle, that would be a bit of a problem. The, the thing is, when the pups pop open, um, they pop open in a, in a giant arc, and so the pups that go towards the center, if there's you know air defenses in there, uh, Teslas, Expos, whatever, uh, the pups will get fried pretty quick. But since these Expos are on ground, um, it's going to mean more of the pups survive. So uh, Another thing was the Archer Queen was right next to the air defense, so um, you know some drops from the balloons might actually take her down. So you notice here I just put two Hounds down, uh, and then when my balloon started to approach that air defense, I dropped the next two down at an angle. Comes my lightning, took out the enemy clan castle. Um, now the uh, hounds are rotating around the base just like I want them to, and I'm bringing in reinforcement balloons as needed. Here's my reinforcement hound. Still precision dropping balloons. Still have another rage left. Uh, kind of waiting to see which balloons are going to survive as to see where I should drop it. So I determine this is the part I want to power my balloons through. I dropped my Barbarian King on the back end to tank um, some Archer Tower fire and help get my balloons in there. You can see I've still got one more Hound alive and he's about to die. He dies right before the air defense goes down, which is really just perfect. Um, you know, and I've got a million balloons and lava pups all over the base. So I dropped my Archer Queen on the back because I determined you know, that's the place that's going to be the last place my troops are going to get to. Drop some minions over here to help with these high HP storages. And I knew that, um, you know, these balloons are going to rotate around the top side of the map. So at this point, yeah, I mean, it's just uh, clean up. Um, pretty easy. Uh, pretty easy. Once everything's released and, and it, once it's rolling, it's really just making sure you place the spells correctly. And, you know, yeah, I mean, making sure that you don't run out of time because... Yeah, if you if you don't have, I think you want to take a couple minions because if you don't, you know, if your heroes die because they were part of a you know cold-blooded squad, or if they die just because they were tanking some defenses or something, um, you know, the minions can be really critical. Because